how to create frequency tables that you can use to create your bar graphs. Um, you can do this two different ways. First of all, you can start by just lo looking at the data sets I'm going to give you are pretty um, manageable in how you can view them. So you could um, look through, figure out what categories are there. So right now I have Chevrolet, Ford, Saturn, and Subaru. So I, I'm a car dealer and I want to know how many of each of these types of cars are on my lot. So I could do this and I could um, then do the counts or I could select this, copy it, paste, and then go to data. This little guy will remove duplicates. So it will, I just want to continue with the current selection because if I expand it, it's going to remove all the duplicates in this column too. So I just want to remove duplicates in this. And it gives me exactly what types I have. Okay, so if you have a huge data set that you don't want to go through and you think it would be faster to do that, by all means do that. So, I don't need this. Um, so I'm going to delete that. So right now I have just the car types that are there and I want to do count if. So you have all kinds of count function, but you want count if and then the range of this data, it goes all the way to 56 down here. So I have 55 vehicles, uh, car types, um, cause car type is using the first cell. So if I put the range a two to a 56, and then my criteria here, I have a categorical variable. So I'm going to need this, um, the quotes. So if I'm wanting to get Chevrolet, I put that and then it will count how many Chevrolets are in this set. Now I would rather just type everything out, but I'm going to show you also how you can do this and be able to drag it. You're not changing columns here. You're just going to be changing, um, or you're going to make sure you're going to go into the same numbers. So if I drug this down, and then I change the name here, it will give me what I need. So this little thing does not matter. Ignore this. So as long as your range is still showing up the same, you've done it correctly. And then just change the name. I don't want to count Chevrolet. I want to count Subaru. Okay. So then if you wanted to just see, hey, well, how many is that total? I make sure this adds up correctly because I know I have 55. It shows up 55. Okay. So you can do that. Or another way you can create a table is selecting all the data. And this is. I would say this is the easiest way. It's just not as um, intuitive because it is a little bit more difficult to understand pivot tables, but or understand how to use pivot tables. But I've selected the data. I'm going to create a pivot table. I want to go into the existing worksheet. I'll put it right here. So if I click OK, it's going to pop up a little thing ready for me to make my pivot table. I only have the one categorical variable. So I'm going to take that and make it the rows. And then I'm going to also take that and put it in the values. So it's going to give me a count and I can click this and, and change my count to in because that's the symbol for how many are in a group and then click okay. And it will show up that, okay, I have 37 Chevrolets, 12 Fords, four Saturns, two Subarus. Okay. So now I can create a bar graph if I want to insert and I go up to this bar graph. I just select the first one. These honestly, I don't use these. These are too messy. Nothing, um, that I've had to do needed this 
so far. So I'm just going to use this simple format here. Um, and it just shows me what I have. Counts of car types. So if I did this with this, it's also going to show the same thing. So if I put insert it's going to pop up with the same graph. So these are, I mean, these are ultimately the same. It's just a little faster to do this. Just kind of build a little bit of an Excel skill, but um, it also helps to reduce any kind of error. If, so if you can learn how to do these pivot tables, um, there's still a lot that I don't even know because I haven't used them um, as much as I would have liked right now. So there's lots of ways you can use pivot tables. It's really helpful um, to learn that skill. So if you take some time, learn these tables, learn how to use them, learn um, what you need in order to get what you want. Like right now, I want a bar graph of how many of each type of car I have, right? So this gives me a frequency um, of types of cars, right? So if you guys have any more questions about how to create these, just let me know. I can run through a, another scenario and give you guys some more information. So I hope this helps.